Wore high heels, short skirts, and were looking for love for all the wrong reasons. The LAPD says these deceptive divas were wined and dined and then made off with their dates valuables. The LAPD releasing this video just before Valentine's Day. Eyewitness News reporter Veronica Miracle is live in West Hollywood with more of the video police want you to see. Veronica? Well, Mark and Michelle, police are not only asking for the public's help to find those women, they're also trying to warn other men who could fall victim to them. Victim to them. They say this happened at a restaurant not far from here on Melrose Avenue. A high-heeled heist ending in heartbreak for two unsuspecting guys. The LAPD says these two women seduced two men at an upscale restaurant in West Hollywood. Surveillance video from Chaconi's West Hollywood shows the ladies leaving the restroom and the restaurant itself. The two men took the women home to Beverly Grove, and that's when the night went south. Detectives say the women made the men drinks, one to the point of passing out, then took off with expensive watches. As a guy, you say, oh. I got two girls and they're coming home. Whew, not in my life, you know what I mean? It makes you kind of leery on even just saying hello to women now. You know what I mean? It's just like, no, nah, I'm just in my own little corner. But that is bananas. Now police need your help to find these mini skirt con artists. One of the women was wearing a red wig that night, but police say she has tattoos of hearts and butterflies on her stomach. The other woman has blonde hair. Both are in their 20s. I mean, most guys have done at some point in their life. So. You're not expecting to get robbed at that point. I think it's important just for everyone to think about being safe and, and just being aware of who you're taking home with you. And Mark and Michelle, one of those victims actually had to be taken to the hospital and ended up in serious but stable condition. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.